Hello everyone, this is the Big Game Hunter, and this video is a comparison of the CVA Wolf Northwest and the CVA Optima Northwest. Both of these muzzle loaders are part of an existing lineup of muzzle loaders designed and built by CVA that they have modified in order to be able, legal to use in the states of Washington, Oregon, and Idaho for their respective deer and elk muzzle loader hunting seasons. Altogether, there are three muzzle loaders in CVA's Northwest lineup. The Wolf Northwest is their base model. The Optima Northwest is their mid level muzzle loader. And the Acura Northwest, which I don't have here, is CVA's top of the line Northwest legal muzzle loader. Of these three, the Wolf and the Optima are the two most popular. All three muzzle loaders share a few key components, but there's some important distinctions between them that we'll go over today. The most important feature these guns share is their modified breech plug that is compliant with the muzzle loader hunting regulations in Washington, Oregon, and Idaho. The breech plug is designed to work with loose instead of pelletized powder, use a musket cap instead of a 209 primer and has four holes cut into the sides of it in order to ensure that the ignition system is exposed to the elements in accordance with the regulations for muzzleloader hunting season. By making these few adjustments, CVA was able to design a line of muzzleloaders that incorporates nearly all the benefits of an inline muzzleloader while still being legal to use in the Pacific Northwest. So we'll start from the front and work our way back on each muzzleloader. As you can see, the Optima has a 26-inch fluted stainless steel barrel while the Wolf has a 24-inch non-fluted barrel. Though the difference between them is small, this makes the Optima a little bit better gun for shooting at longer range because the longer barrel means you'll get slightly higher velocity out of the Optima. You also get a longer sight radius. Now, individual results will vary, but I'm finding that I get about an extra 100 feet per second out of the Optima compared to the Wolf when I'm using the same loads. Both muzzle loaders also have a bullet guiding muzzle to aid in properly aligning your bullets for optimum accuracy when loading your muzzle loader. Both muzzle loaders come with a standard set of open fiber optic sights and are drilled and tapped for a scope. The rear sight on the Wolf is the one that both muzzle loaders came with from the factory. Now, I consider the sights to be the weakest part of these muzzle loaders. I don't like open sights in general because they're the least precise type of iron sights. And while they will work, I prefer to use a peep sight, which is why I mounted this peep rib sight on my Optima. Now Williams and E. Arthur Brown Company both make a reasonably priced, high quality sight that is much more precise and also gives you the benefit of increasing your sight radius by several more inches when compared to the standard factory sights. It's designed for easy installation on the Wolf, Optima, and Acura and will work with the standard front sight. Now while you can't use a scope during muzzleloader season in the Northwest, you can mount a scope on these muzzleloaders for rifle season or to use in a state where hunting with a scope on a muzzleloader is legal. The other big advantage of the peep rib sight is it allows you to mount a scope with quick detach mounts while still having the peep sight mounted and zeroed. As you can see, the Optima has a real tree camo pattern on the stock, while the Wolf has a standard black stock. Both muzzleloaders also feature what CVA calls a quick release breech plug. And they claim that you can remove it without the assistance of a tool. In my experience, it's lived up to its name. Even after shooting it all day long at the range, I've never had any issues with removing the breech plug using just my fingers. And this, of course, makes cleaning these muzzle loaders much simpler at the end of the day. Both muzzle loaders also have a reversible hammer spur to accommodate left or right handed shooters. The Optima has molded the cheek risers on both sides of the stock to accommodate both left and right handed shooters as well. This is a feature that the Wolf lacks. However, both muzzle loaders have a very nice recoil pad, and both will mount a standard quick detach sling. Both these muzzle loaders are designed to use musket caps for ignition. CVA recommends using RWS musket caps for optimum performance and I've had good results using these musket caps myself. It's also possible to purchase a 209 primer conversion kit which consists of the new breech plug and firing pin assembly for each of these muzzle loaders. With just a few minutes of work you can switch these muzzle loaders back and forth between using 209 primers and musket caps. As stated before, it's not legal to use 209 primers for muzzle loader season in the Northwest. However, you can use them on your muzzle loader during rifle season or use them in other states where this is legal. So this is a great feature that makes both these muzzle loaders very flexible. For instance, I converted my Wolf to use 209 primers and mounted a scope on it for a deer hunt in Texas last year. Both muzzle loaders are designed to use up to 150 grains of black powder or black powder substitute, such as Hotgun's 777 or Powerdex. Under no circumstances should smokeless powder be used in either muzzle loader. However, even though each muzzle loader will safely handle up to 150 grains of powder, I found that 90 to 100 grains of powder gives me the best accuracy. Both of these muzzle loaders have a 1 28 inch rifling twist, which makes them great for using conical bullets, both full bore and sabo. Power belt bullets I found work especially well in these particular CVA muzzle loaders, 
and I've shot many sub one inch groups at 100 yards with power belts, especially the 250 grain arrow lights. Barnes TEZ bullets have also worked very well for me in the past, and last year I shot a deer using a 250 grain TEZ and a black bear using a 290 grain TEZ. There are lots of other bullets that will work well, though keep in mind CVA does recommend only using bullets weighing less than 400 grains in these muzzle loaders for best results. As you can see, there's a lot of similarities between the two muzzle loaders, but the Optima has the advantage in a few key areas. Right now, the CVA Wolf Northwest is selling for $210 from muzzleloaders.com. The CVA Optima Northwest is available for $300. While it is a little more expensive, in my opinion, you get what you pay for, and the extra money is well worth the increased performance with the Optima. That being said, I have shot both of these muzzleloaders extensively, and I can recommend them to a prospective hunter in the Pacific Northwest without any reservations. Well, that's all I got. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you enjoyed this video comparing the CVA Optima Northwest to the CVA Wolf Northwest.